this is Sean and you're watching on the fly and today we got us another trailer to watch I'm a little bit behind it is called extrapolations don't know what it's about but I'm pretty sure just by that name it's a sci-fi film maybe it's something totally different we don't know so without further delay let's just go ahead and get right to it see what it's about Apple TV okay human history is the story of one terrible catastrophe oh spider-man in here I, for once, would love to wake up magically in a better world. What makes you think the world's going to get better? Right. Today, people get their energy from the sun. Humans have set foot on Mars. Cancer has been defeated. But yet for great. every question answered, another one appears. Here's what you need to know about global war. The Hulk in here, Spider-Man. we shit at the end of the century. We'll be dead. We'll have to miss it. But we'll be smiling in gold-plated coffins. This is not the life that I envisioned it to be. The man whose house is on fire is incredibly easy to negotiate with. We cannot give up and go home for one simple reason. I think it helps to look at climate change like a bear. The whole planet's been wrestling with the bear for decades. So far, the bear's been kicking our ass. What if we were able to develop technology that would allow us to survive, maybe even thrive? You don't know what's gonna happen. It won't go the way you want. It never does. Hmm. I now are you happy now we bad people stop being angry about the past the future is now miami is dangerous your mother's moving with her sister in chicago thought you hated your sister it's too hot out to hate people these days marshall Hmm. March 17. You know, I gotta say that a lot of things that's gonna be happening, like the a lot of things that's happening right now, you know, as far as climate change, you know, like the the, the world sinking, like Los Angeles. And, global warming is just really tearing up the the world society whatever the case you want to call it um we won't live to see that you know what i'm saying we'll be you know long gone and all that kind of stuff but like our children or our children's children will be able to experience that um so as far as like not being here that's a good thing you know we won't be able to experience that type of thing but you know that may be 100 years 200 years down the road or something like that but what I'm most jealous about, you know what I'm saying, being born is that the way technology is going these days, we won't be able to see those things. I mean, I'm really anxious to see what possibilities that can come up into the future. Um, you know, like I've waited all my life to see flying cars and still haven't gotten that you know we got back to the future we got the, the the hoverboards we got like teleportation and all those type of things you know i've been super anxious to see it and it don't look like we're gonna see it or maybe they do have it and they're just not bringing it out to the public because they're trying to perfect it. i'm not sure but that's what i hate about living in this time period because you know i always like a time piece of like the 50s and 60s and stuff like that but when you really look back at it, how we have it now, opposed to the way they had it, it was really, really tough. You know, we got a lot of things that are easy access, you know, like let's just say food, for instance. You know, we could order something in our phone in two minutes and it'll be here within 30 minutes, something like that. Back then, you had to literally go out. And, I mean, of course, it's still like that today. But the, the point I'm trying to make is everything is so easily attainable these days um even back when i was a shorty you know coming up in elementary school high school we had to do research we had to go to um we had to do rolodex we had to um 
you know, actually go to the library and get information and stuff. Now, of course, the internet was, you know, kind of a thing, but a lot of information that was there or that's, you know, here today, we didn't have a lot of that. You know what I'm saying? It was like the internet literally had maybe like a hundred pages of information and then all the rest of the stuff, you know, you had to get to the library and it took, you know, somebody or, you know, some people, technology, computer, whatever the case may be to put all of that information that is in the library and then put it into the internet. And that is going to be mostly our history. There's not going to be any more books. Well, there always be books, but I'm pretty sure at a while or in, in a time, there's not going to be any more physical books. Everything is going to be digital. Once we don't have power or anything like that, how do we define history? That's what I'm something to think about, you know, but um, that's just like even GPS, you know, GPS is something that we use and we really rely on and stuff like that. But back then we had to use actual maps or you had to know where you was going. But um, that's what I'm most jealous about as far as the youth, you know, being able to experience these type of things. Um, but it is what it is. You know, we all have our time and then it's time for us to go and then the new generation you know, kind of, you know, sets the tone for how we're going to live in this new generation. But um, anyways, y'all let me know what y'all think. Post your comments down below. I'll catch y'all on the fly. Peace.